Tonight we're hearing from a man whose van was stolen in a violent carjacking in Macomb County. He pulled over to help when he saw a woman stranded yesterday in a Roseville Del Taco parking lot. But when he got out, he was attacked and quickly realized it was all a plot for theft. As Sean Lay reports, the community is jumping in to help. The local four defenders, we are on this case. There is a full court press going on right now to find those responsible for this awful attack. 1.30 a.m. Tuesday morning. I was uh, heading out. I just wanted to, uh, to go to Del Taco. 52-year-old Derek Hill is bruised, bloodied, and beaten on grass shit early Tuesday morning at Masonic in Roseville. He saw a car broken down. He stopped to help. And as soon as I said, do you need help? Boom, and my door opened and I got punched. Punched, pulled out of his van, and stomped on. They kicked me right in the face. Tried to get to my feet again because I heard my van racing off. And I looked up and I seen a uh, Caucasian female and the driver's side, and I tried to break the window out to try, you know, to try to stop her. Three people involved, the driver, the man who beat him, and a woman, all taking off in Hill's gold 2006 Chrysler Town & Country. There's the license plate. Hill runs Last Supper Ministry out of the van. Hundreds of dollars in groceries were in the van that Hill uses to feed the hungry. Michael Masters of Masters Auto Sales in Roseville heard about the awful attack, and today gave Hill one of his vans. It really hit me to heart. You know, and uh, I just felt, felt like I needed to reach out to him and help him out. Meantime, Hill's lawyer says Hill's attackers must be caught quickly. It's important to get these individuals off the street because with what they did with Mr. Hill here and the way they hurt him when he wasn't resisting tells me that these individuals have done this in the past and that they'll likely continue to do things of this nature and it'll likely escalate maybe resulting in a murder. Derek Hill tells me he will not let this attack keep him from continuing his ministry. Police in Roseville tell me they continue to work this case and will not stop until they catch the people responsible. Sean Lay, Local 4 Defenders. Hey, Sean, thank you. Uh, Local 4 News at 6 is next. Ahead, Defender Karen Drew updates us on some of the key players in the Kwame Kilpatrick saga, like his co-defendant, Bobby Ferguson.